Hi, I'm Melissa Clone and I'm the Distance Education Coordinator and this tutorial is going to show you how you can copy your course materials from one Blackboard shell to another. So I'm scrolling down to the control panel after your menu and I'm going to select and expand packages and utilities. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select course copy. This is going to open up a window where I'm going to be able to copy the course by making an exact copy and actually moving it or copying over the materials to an existing course. For example, a Blackboard shell that is already created for you that happens to be blank. Now under select copy type you're not going to have to worry about making some adjustments and selecting the materials into an existing course. That's already going to be set up for you. Now notice I have content over here on the left hand side. I want to move this content because I don't want to have to recreate it. I want to move this into a blank shell or perhaps I just want to move parts of this into another shell that I have. In this case, this is the kind of copy course procedure we're going to be doing from semester to semester. Again, here's the example. I have just finished my fall class and now I want to move my fall content into a blank spring shell that I can start teaching using the same materials over. So I'm going to come over here and it's going to be a little different than what you'll see. I'm going to select a course and I'm going to make sure that I pick the correct course. So you're going to want to make sure you're looking at the section number and also the semester. And then I'm going to click on submit and it's going to appear here in this destination course ID text box. Now I'm going to scroll down and I can come over here and I can select everything. I recommend selecting everything even though you may not have used some of these items just make sure you don't um, miss anything. Now there is a couple of choices here discussion board. If you have participated in the discussion board and have used a post in each discussion forum, you could include that starter post. If you haven't, you can just click on the radio button for include only the forums without the starter posts. So that's your choice. Think about it. If you have any questions, let me know. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. I don't want you to worry about any of the settings. The settings that are there are the ones that you need. Um, if you do have course guest access, we have that observer and course guest access very infrequently. Usually um, that's arranged through me. Don't worry about availability and duration. That's taken care of automatically. And then we're going to come down here to um, number three. You can calculate the file attachments. I don't think you need to worry about that. You do not want your past students to come over to your new semester with the new students. Keep that unchecked. We have another procedure. Um, archiving and exporting your copy and your course information if you want to include your enrollments. Now if you're using EPACs you may see an additional option for EPACs. Make sure you check the box where it says EPAC material used. You want to make sure everything copies over. So once you've done that you're going to click on submit and you'll have, if it's successful, a successful green bar appear here. You can click on the X to remove it. Um, and if, for example, if anything happens and you have accidentally copied your course content from one semester to a, maybe um, an incorrect uh, section number or semester, uh, we can take care of that through the bulk delete. It doesn't write over anything. It will just add to or append to the content that you already have. So it's very easy procedure. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you very much.